Hi, my name is Sam Wiseman. I'm a student intern at the House Divided Project at Dickinson College, and I give a lot of tours of the House Divided studio. One of the things that really stands out to teachers when they come to visit is the augmented reality system that we have here called Orasma. Uh, so we have a series of uh, portraits and different pictures around the exhibit, uh, and when you hold your phone or tablet up to them, uh, they come to life with a short documentary film or a student-made exhibition or website. And the teachers and students often wonder how to make them themselves. And the answer is that it's incredibly simple. I picked it up in, I'd say, the first day on the job. Um, so today I'm going to show you how to make uh, an aura of your own. So just go to orasma.com. This is uh, a service by Hewlett Packard. Um, and create your own account. Uh, the House Divided Project already has one, so we'll go and log in. So when you open it up, you'll see a dashboard. These are some of the most uh, popular auras, um, but what you'll really be using are these two other tabs, assets and auras. Um, so there are two assets. Um, there's triggers, which are the images uh, that you scan with your phone, um, sort of like a complex QR code. And then there are overlays. These are the videos or websites that emerge once you scan the trigger image. Every aura is a combination of the two. So we'll go into the My Auras section, and this is a dashboard of all the auras that we've created. We'll go up to the top and click create new aura. And here you can either upload a new trigger image or uh, choose an existing one. So you can start on the assets tab and sort of work over this way or just upload a file from your computer. So you'll hit browse, take a preferably JPEG image and then click open. Okay, so if you upload a larger image with a lot going on, uh, you may get a message about training issues. Now this means um, it may be difficult uh, to identify like key traits in the picture uh, because it's largely based on contrast. Um, so once we get this going I'll show you different ways to mask the layer uh, to make it a little smoother when you're trying to scan it. Um, so this is an image of uh, or a set of three images of Moncure Conway, one of Dickinson's most famous graduates that we have right over our mantle when you walk into the House Divided studio. So we figured there should be some sort of little biographical film uh, which will be enabled. Um, so like that notification said, this image is a little complicated. Uh, so what we're going to do is mask certain parts of it. So all you do here is click mask on the left side and then draw a rectangle about the thing around the things you want uh, the phone to ignore. So this will be blocked out when we go to scan the image and this will be blocked out. We just want it to activate when we see the picture of Moncure Conway as a Dickinson student. You can zoom in if you want to uh, crop with a little bit more detail. You can zoom back out. And if you don't like one of the masking layers, you can hit delete and go over. You see it'll turn darker blue, so you can delete that section that you masked. You can also select to move around these masking layers if you wanted to overlap a little bit or something. Okay, so once you have that masked to your liking, you can go to next. Now this will come over to the overlays section. This is the second asset. Uh, zoom out and move over to how you'd like it to appear. Um, this is exactly where the image uh, or video will pop up. So go over to upload a new overlay, select your video file or your website, save that. Okay, good. So now that it's uploaded, um, you can click and drag it over to where you'd like it to uh, first pop up on someone's phone. Hold down shift and drag along a corner to enlarge it without uh, messing up the proportions. And I think it's kind of cool to have them a little bit larger, so it's kind of almost popping off the image, but that's up to you. So you can also add uh, features. So when somebody taps on this video, um, it can open up to a website. So you can set the action for when the overlay is tapped. We'll click Add Action, copy the URL of the House Divided Research Engines page on Moncure Conway. So when you tap it, you can learn a little bit more. Paste that in there and then click Save. And you can continue adding these overlays or different actions to different parts of the image if you wish, but we'll keep it simple for now. Uh, go up to the top and click Next. Great, now give it a title so that everyone can find it. Let's call this, let's call this Journeys of Moncure Conway. Hit Save. Then you'll go ahead and hit Close. So now all you have to do is download the Erasma app 
follow the channel that you made and you should be able to view the uh, overlay that you just created.